increase in global temperatures is not the only aspect of climate change. Known as the other CO2 problem, ocean acidification is going to become a larger problem for ocean life if action is not taken now. Ocean acidification is the change in the acidity of the ocean, brought on by lowered pH levels as a result of increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The levels of carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere are currently at about 387 parts per million, which is 30% higher than the average levels over the past 650,000 years. The oceans are constantly absorbing and releasing atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide in order to maintain stable levels in both environments, but the ocean can only hold so much carbon dioxide at any given time. Approximately a third of the carbon dioxide that has been released in the atmosphere in the past 200 years has been absorbed by the oceans. When the ocean absorbs carbon dioxide, it reacts with water molecules to form carbonic acid, which then donates a hydrogen atom to existing carbonate molecules to form bicarbonate, which is not easily broken down. As carbonate ions are now trapped in bicarbonate, Organisms that utilize carbonate are now at a loss as it is not readily available. Many marine organisms, such as corals, utilize the carbonate in the ocean by combining it with calcium to form calcium carbonate, which then calcifies their tissues. When the amount of carbon dioxide not in bicarbonate form available is limited, these organisms have less carbonate atoms to form calcium carbonate which they need in order to form their structures. There are various outcomes for organisms such as coral reefs if they are not able to form calcium carbonate, including decreased skeletal density, stress, decreased reproduction levels, and ultimately a smaller and less diverse coral population. As shown in a study on the Caribbean coral Parites astreoides, the effects of ocean acidification will soon begin to cause a decrease in the metabolic rates of larvae. Metabolic rate depressions have already been reported in other marine invertebrates such as crabs, squids, worms, bivalves, pteropods, and amphipods as a result of increased acidification. Decreased metabolic rates can lead to reductions in growth and reproductive potential which will be detrimental to future coral populations. If our carbon emissions remain at a constant rate over the next 70 years, mineralization of tropical reef building corals will be reduced by 20 to 60 percent. As ocean acidification continues to affect the oceans, the pH levels are expected to further decrease by another 0.3 to 0.5 pH units by the end of the century. Studies have shown that coral reefs with a slightly lower pH show dramatically reduced diversity, but most importantly, a loss of the structurally complex and beautiful corals that provide habitats for the majority of reef life. If we are to preserve the biodiversity of this planet, it is important to act now to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Not only will ocean life be negatively affected by climate change, but the entire planet will face significant changes from the collapse of the ocean biome that will lead to the destruction of nature as we know it.